Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Bain with Every Type of Gardens. Today, I have a good one for you. Um, today, I want to talk about the experience that I've gained since I started rooting fig cuttings in water. Uh, today's video is all about how to know the fig cuttings that you will root in water and will do well. Not all fig varieties do well in water. There are some that you will root in water. After a few days, you start seeing the water look, looking milky. And when you bring out the cutting from the water, you will see that even the water on the cutting is not clear. It's milky. That's to tell you that that cutting will not do well in water. Just take it out. You put it in soil or you put it in Ziploc bag, whichever method. But that cutting will not root in water. You will lose that cutting. So, from my experience of rooting fig cuttings in water, I've discovered some cuttings that will do well, some cuttings that will not do well. When I put cuttings in water, uh, I've, by the fifth day, I start seeing some signs. The one that will do well and the one that will not do well. And when the cutting, when you bring out the cutting and the water, and the water looks milky, that's an indication it won't do well. But there's another way you will know if the cutting will do well even before you put it in water. That is what I want to discuss with you today. Cuttings, how to know cuttings that would do well or very well. There are some cuttings that will still produce roots, but will not produce roots like some. And that is what I'm going to show you now. Now look at this one here. This is a thick cutting. And it is, sorry, let me turn it this way. And the name of the variety is Carini. And it's a, look at the cutting. And the reason why I decided to use this cutting is because one is very thick. Um, it has some spots. Now, these spots usually produce roots. You can see those spots. So that's why I decided to use this cutting uh, for this experiment. So all these spots you are seeing will produce roots. So I'll keep you guys uh, along to see the progress of this experiment so this will be in water till spring it has one node there where the it has a node there well i was removing the candle wax so i decided not to scare this one but to leave it plain but this part here was when i was removing the candle wax the candle wax that was at the bottom so it has only three nodes one two and three so with this i'm leaving the two nodes one two in the water so you can see so let me show you the 
Karin Collins. I hope you can see the name. I'm trying to see. Karini. Now you can see just in two weeks, look at the roots that are forming everywhere the water is. If you remember when I made the video 3rd of January, I said one of the reasons why I'm rooting this Karini cutting is because it has spots. Can you see these spots? White spots all over it. You see it? And I said from these white spots, that is where roots will be coming out from. Also from the nodes. This is one of the reasons why cuttings like this will be successful rooting it in water because the body is full of white spots where roots will pop out from. And here it is. Look at this. Roots all over coming out from the white spots. So if you want to root cuttings in water, look for cuttings that have spots, white spots all over it. Now the cutting might be spooned, but if it has white spots all over it, that tells you that it would be good to root it in water. And some cuttings might not be smooth. If you feel it like this one, if you feel this one is smooth, not too smooth, a little bit smooth, but you can feel that it's a little bit rough. Why? Because of the white spots. It makes it rough. Some cuttings, the body is very, very smooth and there are no spots. Those cuttings will not root in water. If they root, it would take a very, very, very long time. But most of the times, they will not root. But like this one, you can see the white spots all over it. The white spots all over it. So now you can see the roots are popping up from everywhere, not only from the node. The bottom part has a node, you see? But look at the body. Look at the roots popping up everywhere on the body. So this is why cuttings like this do well in water. And this is just two weeks. Now, there is no leaf popping out yet from the node. There's a node there. There is no growth yet. And that is what I want. I want roots first before leaves. But this is a Carini. It has no growth at the top, but look at the bottom. Look at roots. And this is what I want because I want it to produce roots first. Look at. Look at that. Wow. Long roots. Look at. You see that? Look at the roots all over it. I told you, cuttings that have white spots all over it will produce roots everywhere there is a white spot. Look at those roots so long. <laughs> this is what I want. 
and remember I didn't score the bottom of this cutting you can see it let me show you guys I have to be careful look at this can you believe that and look at the growth look at full of roots even look at that root right there got stuck to the cutting remember i told you cuttings that have a lot of white spot or brown spot you see roots will pop out from there not only from the nodes will roots come out from but also from the brown or white spots on the body you see that is how you know root uh, cuttings that we do well in water look at this massive root <laughs> look at how long these roots are look at that and look at this you see look at new ones new roots that are growing long so many roots and I don't want to put it back in the water. I don't want to lose any more roots. I've lost some roots. When I transferred it from the last container it was in. And I put it in this container. As I was putting it, I lost one long root. And that is why I'm not going to put it back in this water. I'm going to upward it. So, you can see. How successful rooting that cutting in water how successful it was why because of the kind of cutting that it was let me show you another cutting that I'm rooting in water you see that it's just the same thing look at roots all over this cutting you can see it has that spot all over it look at that that is how you know because cut because the roots will not only come out from the nodes you can see the nodes there you can see a node right there but look at the body the body of the cuttings have roots all over it all because you can see the white or the light brown spots all over it this is how you know a thick cutting that we do very very well with no iota of doubt I learned this from my own experience. So when I want to root cuttings, except if I have um, a lot of cuttings of the same variety, so I try different methods to see. But there are some cuttings you will know. Once you see it, I see it as all these spots all over it. You will know this is black toxin variety black toxin variety you see now there is no new growth on it yet i'm happy that it doesn't have new growth yet but it has lot of roots so this is what i'm talking about so i'm going to leave it in water for the roots to grow long but as a reminder once i put this back into the container of water i'm not going to bring it out be careful when you keep bringing these cuttings out of the water all the time or a lot of times you will lose some of those roots some of these roots you see they are not that strong 
So don't bring them out of the water from time to time. The reason why I brought this out is for this video because I've learned not to be taking them out of the water too many times. So after this video, once I put it back, I'm going to leave it till the roots are very, very long before I will remove it and I'll put it. So, I want to thank you for watching this video. This channel, this YouTube channel is all about inspiration. Guiding channel for inspiration to inspire people to learn to encourage other people that whatever knowledge I have, whatever experience I have, I want to share it with you. I want you to be fruitful, to be successful in your guiding. So, whatever I learn on my own, things I learn from other people. And I apply it to my garden and it works, I will share it with you. So thank you for watching this video with me. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. I have so many videos that will inspire you, that will encourage you. So many videos that you will like. Please subscribe to my channel and click on all. So that you be notified of every video that I upload. And if you and if this video has inspired you, please like this video, share this video, encourage somebody else with it. Let them have success in their garden. And to my subscribers. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate your comments. It helps me to improve better and better. Thank you for being my subscribers. It's been a wonderful time with you guys. When I see your comments, when I see your responses, you know, to my videos, thank you. And I will see you again in the next video.